This is Austin, 2015 UPW, New York City. Outstanding event. Another crew member who was nominated as a top crew member by her peers. And it's you and I again, because the last event we attended, you were nominated as the top crew member. Right. You are outstanding, number one. Thank you. I want to ask you a couple questions for the right. folks that are experiencing crew in UPW for the first time here. Let's talk about your background. I know your background, but let's tell everybody what your background right. is. You're very okay. Person. Um Basically, my background, I'm very entrepreneurial, so I have an accounting business I've had for many years. Uh, and more recently, I started a real estate investment firm. And what I've really been able to understand and implement is that I have designed the firm so that all aspects of it are, um, are used to contribute on both sides, from the investors and from the investors and from my portion of the portfolio, I'm going to be using that um, to fund my charities. So I'm using all my talents to contribute. Now, the one thing is trying to fail to mention, she's also a mother. <laughs> So, right. extremely busy person, and the question again, why do you come out, donate four or five days, just dropping everything in your life to come out here and crew and, and, and to serve? Why do you do that? Right. I think, I was saying in the crew meeting the other day, I think that answer keeps changing for me. Uh, I think we all come here with the original intention because we want to contribute to the participants. But what I've noticed is each time I come, I become, uh, I become a stronger person and I learn more and as a result, I'm able to contribute on a higher level, not just here, but in, in life in general. So that's, I think, the reason I keep coming back, because it's benefiting me as well as everybody in the future that I can, I can uh, contribute to. And you were doing that at a high level. Thank you. Do you have anything specific, though? When you, before you came here, you knew you were coming. Was there anything specific that you thought about as an outcome for you? Yes, and I did work towards those, and something else different came out of it. So, um, originally, when I planned to come back, I have been a captain in the last two events, and I was um, asked to be a captain again in this event, but in a different capacity. So, I was asked to develop some procedures, and Brandon, of course, is working with me on that. And we finally, on the last day, have come to a conclusion on some great strategies for that, so the outcome is successful. But even more importantly than that, what I recognized, um, not only receiving, but giving in, um, interventions to our own crewmates. Uh, and I myself participated in giving three very, very strong interventions to my crewmates, and I received intervention from Brandon, and all four were life-changing. And to me, that actually was a way bigger impact than creating assistance for the team. Interesting how you've had one outcome, and the first outcome is great too, because it's that constant never you know, improvement, it's like constant always improvement, right? right. Always improving. Right. But then you got a second outcome, which is the right. contribution part, and not so much you may be thinking about the participants, but right. right here in front of you is right. the opportunity right. to do the yeah. 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 yeah, and those are so spontaneous, because, you know, like I say, we're supposed to be helping the participants, that's our goal, but really, we help each other so much, and it's not yes. planned. We run each other into each other in the hallway, and one word is spoken, and the other person knows that you need to stop and be present for that person, yes. and not until it's done. Yes. And that's so beautiful. Now, that, the next question will be, what was your greatest impact? Would it be the interventions? That definitely, you definitely, that was a hundredfold over the strategies of the team. So, and then something more. Really great. So it's like you came for something, but then you got something more. Yeah, more something much bigger, and I didn't even expect it. So great. That, the big question is, what is next for you? Are you um, going to attend? Are you going to crew again? What's next for okay, the song? Technically, I, I'm attending LifeWell in the fall, and I'm definitely going to continue to crew wherever I can. Um, but on top of that, I realized that what I've grown into as far as love and contribution that I can take that even bigger than these, these events that I can, I'm, I'm strong enough in that that I know I can impact the world on a much bigger level. I just, I'm not sure what that is yet, but I know it's good. And you know, you're slowly becoming a extremely valuable part of this crew. As I know, even I know your history, but you started, your first Tony Robbins event was in? Uh, it was in July of 2013 in Chicago. 2013. So, yeah, not quite two years ago. So not quite two years, and you're, you're already leading teams right. here and you're running. So right. I commend you for that. Thank it's you. awesome, and I, I look forward to seeing what you're going to do. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah.